proof Andrew Tate filmed a sex tape beating a 14 year old girl. Oh. The disturbing tape was filmed in 2012. <laughs> Vivian finally revealed her age on social media and is 26 years old now, which would make her 14 years old when the tape was filmed. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a second. And we got engaged very quickly after 17 days. As I was having this dinner with my husband and his friend, Andrew Tate was there. I had no idea who he was. This is kind of before he really took off on the internet. I've known Andrew for many, many years. Um, I've known Andrew. My assistant, who happened to be Romanian, she spent a lot of the time that we were there talking to him. She comes over to me afterwards and she says, I think he's a pimp in Romania. It seems to be a bit on the pimpy side. Big news. Big news. Big news. Big news. Andrew Tate raided and new victims. Jeez, what is that? Darth Vader's lightsaber protecting the top of the... Does he live in a warehouse? That's definitely warehouse vibes. That's where he stores all of his victims. <laughs> all these 13 year olds? Security guard. I don't know if you'd label this. I feel like that should probably be best unlabeled. Like a little secret, you know? It's like, oh. Oh yeah, those are some nice HVACs. They got the uh, Carrier Class 6s there. Oh yeah, UFOs. Mm -hmm. You see this? This is uh, this is good cooling they got here. These ones do heat in the yeah. winter too. Yeah. Wow, they're really making him pull out all the stops here, huh? They certainly are. They raided him. What could it be for this time, do you think? If you had to guess before we go here, what do you think it's, what are you thinking? Why, unpaid, would they, why would they do this guy unpaid like Unpaid parking fines. I think it's... For all those cars. I think it's got to be some unpaid business taxes, personally. Okay. You know, something very neutral. They're obviously unfairly targeting him. Uh, nothing like that. Let's see. Okay. Organized crime and terrorism ordered the detention of six people for committing the crimes of forming an organized criminal group, trafficking in persons and minors. What? No way! I totally thought this wouldn't be that. Sexual intercourse with a minor, money laundering, and they see money laundering, that I get. They're always out to get you. Influencing statements and favoring the perpetrator. You don't want to do that. Wow. Never favor the perpetrator. Bad news. From the criminal investigation yeah, you, you documents do carried out, it emerged that during 2015, three defendants, two of them foreign citizens, constituted an organized criminal group on the territory of Romania, to which a suspect, who is a foreign citizen, joined in 2016. And in September 2021, another defendant, a Romanian citizen, who acted with the aim of committing the crime of human trafficking, both on the territory of Romania and of other states. Two of the defendants, using the lover boy method and taking mm. advantage of the obvious state of vulnerability of 34 injured persons, recruited them and with the support of the other members of the organized crime group transported and housed them in different locations where they supervised them and coordinated by forcing them to produce pornographic materials that they later broadcast for a fee on profile platforms. The proceeds thus obtained by the defendants from the sexual exploitation of the victims were valued at over 2.8 million USD and 887,000 tokens. It was noted, that's not anywhere near as much money, by the way, as they demonstrate or portray themselves as being worth, but I'm sure there are other non exploited How much is a token worth? Is that a dollar? It's probably, if I had to guess, like, I was going to say one cent, but that wouldn't be that much, maybe, but... I, it's probably a dollar, one for one. Like, you earn a token, because this is on their, their cam site, right? You're talking about, like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Because on my free cams, when it dings, I feel like I can hear girls saying, like, thank you for the 500 tokens, but that can't be, like, $500, right? It could be. Well, what sites do they use? I have no idea. Well, I don't think I can pull it up here anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not good to go searching for that. All right. It was also noted that from 2014 to 2021, one of the defendants... Uh, by misleading in the lover boy method and taking advantage of the obvious vulnerability of a minor victim who was 17, transported and sheltered her in several locations located on the territories of Great Britain and Romania, where he forced her to perform sexual acts in order to produce pornographic materials and distribute them on various websites. Jesus, that's like double not good. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. You're, you're ripping a 17-year-old and, and you're doing putting... Child and doing child and porn. And making money off it. And making money off of it. Okay. That's like the top <laughs> that's like the top bad guy category. You're doing know. all the bad things. That's like full Epstein, I guess. Like Well, no, that's considerably beyond Epstein. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Well, no. Yes. Epstein wasn't making videos of these people. Well, he and he was. wasn't he really ripping these people, right? Uh you statutory mm. maybe, but not like this, right? I suppose. So he's kind of like the super Epstein. I feel like he's in another category. He's another. So we thought Epstein was like at the top of the the pyramid but it, there is another that sits atop much higher epstein shoulders 
If Epstein is the rapist pyramid, the Tates are like the UFOs that taught the Egyptians how to build the rapist pyramid. Where, where's Bill Cosby on the rapist pyramid? Um, I don't know. I think he's like pretty, like he, it's like towards the bottom. It's okay. pretty amateur hour. We have very different opinions of this. On Bill Cosby? But I think Bill Cosby seemed, if what I everything I heard was correct, I would think he would be considerably worse than Epstein. Really? Yeah. I thought that Bill Cosby was like, well, I, I didn't see, this is where I, I probably should look into the case more. I thought he was like coercing people to have sex with them. Who, Cosby? Yeah. I think he was doing a little bit of Quaalude partying. Interesting. And they got a little bit high and they would... Um, oh, that's not good. Not good. <laughs> you know, but imagine Bill Cosby doing his wacky voices when this is happening. You would be so conflicted. Yeah, there were not, a lot of women. My understanding for Epstein is um, Epstein would basically get young girls to come to his whatever resorts or islands or would mm-hmm. send them out to other people um and then when the young girls were giving massages to these guys him or his friends he would offer them money and i think at least one or two of these girls were under the age of 18 but like that was like the epstein thing mm. that's the extent that i'm aware of i haven't seen anything more than that so as far as like so this is much worse than that yeah this is way 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 beyond that yeah <sighs> okay also in his charge it was noted that starting from december 2020 he repeated re- repeatedly had sex and sexual relations and acts. I don't even know what that means. He repeatedly fucked a minor victim aged 15 in order to hide or dissimulate. dissimulate the illicit origin of the money resulting from the commission of the crime of human trafficking between December 2023 and July 2024. The two defendants purchased and registered four luxury cars, the names of close people. At the same time, in an attempt to prevent the discovery of the truth, they took actions of a clearly intimidating nature and acts of corruption on some injured persons and witnesses in order to induce them not to give statements or to give false statements in this file. With regard to two other defendants, Romanian citizens, from the conducted investigations, it emerged that they acted with the aim of hindering the investigations in this criminal case. Um, so they I, obviously... I remember that. That. those are the jailhouse like they were being fully retarded they were like intimidating people from jail yeah well one of these defendants like the one of the romanian citizens i think was a police officer was a cop yeah they were and yeah. they were helping them right? and then this is they're probably just talking about like bullying the women that have come out mm-hmm. they also disseminate this information to other people in the media uh, in the media to bully women that have been accused um yeah. okay as a result of the home searches the sums of approximately twenty six thousand euros whoa, whoa. Humana, humana, humana. damn you can almost buy a honda civic with that type of money uh eighty one thousand lee 5,800 Great Britain pounds and uh, 6,400 bucks. Two watches, laptops, data storage units, documents, and other means of evidence were identified and seized. An insurance seizure was instituted on 16 cars and a motorcycle, all from the luxury category. Today, the Judge of Rights and Liberties was notified with the proposal of preventative preventative arrest of three of the detained defendants and the house arrest of another judicial activities are carried out together with the police officers from the ill full of organized crime fighting service the action benefited from the support of gendarmes from the special investigation special intervention brigade of the gendarmerie okay well, that's not a good press release to have put out about you. I'll tell you that much. If you have one of these coming out about you, it's about time to wrap it up. You're probably done. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Because you know the amount of defenders you're going to have left, it's going to be like the quartering and Candace Owens and, doc- I, and Dr. Disrespect and Cosby. I think that they, I, I, I don't know how things go in Romania, so it's hard to speak to what their ordinary process is, but they need to figure out what they want to do with this because at, at this point, I don't even take these very seriously now because if I look at there have been so many public statements, so many arrests, detentions, releases. Why aren't they charging these dudes? Yeah, this is like the world's was... longest case. Yeah. Unless the only alternative, okay, not alternative, the only possible explanation is that these guys committed so many crimes that they're trying to wrap things up and they just keep discovering new crimes. Yeah, but they're always like referring to the same things, right? Like that 15-year-old is probably the girl, the main bottom bitch that Tate refers to in his videos a lot. Uh-huh. Where he's like, oh yeah, I use her to go and talk to the girl. Like we've seen him admit that he and was using her basically as like a uh, as like a little bait um, in videos that he's released in the past. Like we've all known about this stuff for years and years and years. And all these crimes that they're referring to have happened like really far in the past. Like scroll up. Did they say it was like in 2015? Yeah, they're, I mean, we'll get to it. Yeah, from, yeah, noted from the period of 2014 to yeah. 2020. Yeah, it's just like, like figure your shit out. Whatever you want to do, do it. But the constantly going back and forth just allows him to play it up I don't, I don't know why they're, they're not just ending this. Like it's finish him already. Like go to court do you think- or don't but like keep your investigation under wraps until you're ready to bring formal charges with everything you've got yeah you know you know what i'll say well no i don't think they could do that because they were probably really worried about him fleeing romanian custody so it's like we have to keep him here somehow under house arrest if they lose this case 
or if something happens and he gets off, this is like that entire Romanian uh, department is going to be like turned over because this is like some f***ed up shit. If he gets like, how bad do you look? This, these guys, the only time anyone in the history of the world has heard about Dicot or Dicot is in this case. And if you make your your country look like a f***ing laughing stock by f***ing this up, they're going to be f***ed. It that, would be really bad. It would be yeah. immensely bad. In the, and it would in, be bad for the country of Romania. They've already had yep. huge issues with trafficking, so it would look like they f***ed it all up, and mm -hmm. they would be, it would be really bad, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Again, now you come at the court. Oh, he said the court. No, he Fuck. There he is. Hi. Did he say hi? I don't know. Oh, you you come again? A decot? Why? Okay. Good luck. Thank you, bro. Oh. Aww. It's probably not gonna have good luck. Hold on, we gotta start from the beginning. Like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a f***. Know about me. It was a pretty well-known fact that he had Wait, pause for a kind of a network. Pause. I wonder if it, um, I wonder if they have the same weird rules around like age of consent as the United States does. So like in the US, like age of consent will be like 16 in places, but federally child porn is still illegal under 18. I wonder if like in Europe they have, where like, oh, you can have sex at 17, but you can't be a prostitute. Or you can have sex at 17, but you can't do like sex work. Like, I thought online. all those things were like, if you're 30 years old, you can't like go to Nebraska and like a 15 year old I think right you, i think you if they, there's no f***ing shot i want to i'd have to look this up We're, i thought, I thought they're like romeo and juliet no, 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 like no, no. If people you're think like that every single 16 age of consent is romeo and juliet i think that's like half of them really i, th I want to say in like 23 states i think you can f like a 16 17 year old even if you're like 50 it doesn't that matter but oh, i mega to, f up yeah well but but there's no um <laughs> under 18 like you can't do any pornographic stuff federally yeah well yeah yeah in the united states mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense all right Press and play. Well, oh. I think even in state, even state laws, I don't think we'll allow you to do it. Yeah, you want to turn it. off your fan, Mr. Sensitive? Yeah, I do. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Good call. Yeah. No problem. That's why I'm here. Making the big brain decisions to turn off the air conditioning in the middle of the podcast. All right. Kind of a network of young girls. So not really a network of young girls, just kind of. A little bit. Fitty, fitty. Work of young girls. I mean, it's like, what a for you. You've got a fit sister who's 16, maybe. Muslims have the best frame on earth. I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's what yeah. I want. You know you said it looks like I'm in a teenage girl's bedroom? Yeah. To, to some people that would be an insult, but to me I find that quite flattering to be honest. You know, like, that's exactly where you... <laughs> Sometimes can I, I want to like... I, 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 I'm so, like, this guy is such a f***ing... Like, how did this dude, this... How? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I can't. I can't understand it. If this guy was a Democrat, he would be like Hunter Biden on steroids. Every day you would be hearing about how this oh. guy... Yeah, I can't think about stuff like that. It breaks my brain. No, yeah, you know, you're right. Like, imagine if, like, because for the Republicans, it's enough to show Biden, like, if he is, like, if he's nose above a girl's hair, like, oh, he's doing creepy, weird shit. Meanwhile, Tate, yeah, so I like the 16-year-old teenage girls every single day in my room and it's actually the hottest thing in the world is that 16 year old teenage pussy and they're like well yeah he's being an alpha chat he's alpha yeah, yeah. He's what do alpha. you want to say yeah he's, he's alpha a, he's such a sigma male and look at these guys over here like oh yeah i totally i totally get it big smiles from the asian guy huh you like that Jesus. you like that he's in a uh, a 14 Christ. year old girl's room what about there? the two white dudes yeah what about them lots of him? smiles here huh oh smiles all around they're complicit and all these 15 year old, not 15, sorry, 16 year old women or 18 year old women. I make that mistake a lot too. How does this thing, how does this go? How does this survive? That's what I don't understand. What? That guy looks like a serial killer. Who is that on the right? I don't know, but toxic masculinity, it says on there. I'm guessing he's not a Democrat, <laughs> is okay. what, I, what I have to guess. What does that say? Make women great again. Nice. Okay. Yeah. The hat on the middle table. Yeah. Oh, 100% toxic masculinity. It's such a f***ing disaster that f***ing scumbags like this have gotten popular. Yeah. It is like a travesty. The worst thing that can happen out Bro. there. And whatever the law is in America. 18? 
It's 18 usually. You're married at 16. I think. All right. In Romania, 16. Sorry. He employed, employed or forced, we don't know, to do video chat for him and who knows what else. The girl you start with is the most important. Oh, this is the 15 year old stuff. The girl stuff. you start with is going to be your Balton bitch. They call it your Balton bitch on the street. My first girl was so good, it was easy. She got to get a good one. And you're only going to find a good one by a lot of hoes. I've got my main bitch, my Balton bitch, Vivian. So, Vivian here. That's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long term relationship. He really doesn't have a chin, does he? He's like the actual meme of like the chinless man. You know, like whenever they take a video uh, image of someone and like push your chin so it's all the way back. This is just like him naturally. Chin that is true. So Vivian here. That's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved to England. Yeah, England stop. To start stop. My Hold on. We had a long term relationship thing. You met a 15 year old. He had no, a long term relationship that's, and immediately that's they not said, so Vivian's been with me six years. So he's been with Vivian for six years, right? Is Vivian's younger? Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been a girlfriend for six years. So uh -oh. Vivian here. It means that they met when she was 15 years old. Uh -oh. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. Also, this one has four exclamation marks. <laughs> he really wants that. He man. really do you, think he's, do you think he's you know do you think he's gripping it right now i don't know bro he's so hyped about this what are you gonna do if i don't watch it august huh what are you gonna do it's all right i'll watch it i take pity on you you know why because you have no fashion style Here's jesus he doesn't wait let's he, he asked me for advice and i'm like bro you can't be helped do you Still know like, why why you asian mm -hmm. don't asians have like the best fashion well they have to try why because have you seen how august looks no, that's really mean, Dan. Well, August, You're being really mean right now. He, he's deformed. Wait, wait, scroll, read the text. <sighs> Proof, Andrew Tate filmed a tape beating a 14-year-old girl. Man, they keep getting younger every tweet. Oh. The disturbing tape was filmed in 2012 and has been in circulation for a while, but the age of the woman, she goes by different names, including Vivian and Cobra Baby, who is being beaten by Andrew Tate in the video with a belt while in lingerie. Has lingerie been unknown. is how that's pronounced, by oh. the way. Cool. <laughs> Lingerie. <laughs> Vivian finally revealed her age on social media and is 26 years old now, which would make her 14 years old when the tape was filmed. Tate has been on record in the passing he dated Vivian when she was 15. She worked for Tate as a webcam model. The date when she begun is unknown. All right. You ready to press play on this banger? There's a video from Also, hold on. I just, I also just want to mm. reiterate. I hate that you said this because now it's triggering the out of me okay if there was a video mm -hmm. of hunter biden hitting a girl like that and then he said oh no it was just kink play <laughs> like you 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 understand yeah. how unbelievably like every republican hold on yes. there is a video of kamala harris saying she's saying that she's going when i become president okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to use executive action to ban assault weapons uh, the the uh the import of assault weapons mm -hmm. in the united states people take that misspeak it's an obvious misspeak and they're like oh no she let it slip that she's gonna ban all weapons all assault weapons using executive order she's gonna ban all of them even my own retarded fans are like destiny you kind of got to give them that one she did say this i was like bro it was an obvious misspeak yeah. but they'll watch a video like this and they'll go well, number one, okay, what was the legal age of consent? Number yeah. two, they're not technically having sex. Number three, maybe deep fake. Number four, she probably consented, okay? Mm -hmm. Number five, like, it's just like, bro, seriously? Hey, I know that you guys are only able to watch one hour, but in the third hour of this podcast, Destiny and Dan actually get on the table and do a naked oiled up twerk off. If you want to see that, Check out patreon.com slash anything else and all that content will be all yours to see. Based. That was fucking, you know what? That's going to Kino. It's uh, it's unbelievable is what it is. The and double standard is insane. You know, the Tate stuff in and of itself is. is let me let me ask you this hypothetical. Let's say that a video came out and Andrew Tate and he admits to this. It's not like it's a, he, he's, people are going to claim it's a deep fake. A video comes out and Andrew Tate is f***ing a dog. Okay? All right? It's like a dog warts type of situation. And he's hitting the dog when he's doing it. Question for you. How would the quartering defend him specifically? If he was fucking a dog, mm -hmm. how would the quartering defend him? Yeah. Hold on. Let me think. There's just so many avenues as a conservative when you're um, when you're shameless you can go. So we could do we could do the um, the sudden discovery of modesty where they go well you know 
I personally don't agree with it, but you know, it's his private life. He's allowed to do what he wants and I'm not here to pass judgment on it. So there's the sudden discovery of modesty. There's the, um, there's the pivot. And what appeal- about ism? The pi- the pi- well, there, what about one? There's the pivot and appeal to the other side standard. So it could be that like, well, I thought the left said that other cultures were fine. And in some cultures, maybe they do like to do things with dogs. Like, so what? So you've got that appeal they could do. Um, I would, I would, my guess would be one of those two. I like how the left is so up in arms about this. Meanwhile, they'll allow you to have your three-year-old's dick get cut off. Talk True. to me. There's the what about that, to yeah, the, yeah, the big time the moral hypocrisy. That, that yeah. Oh yeah. They're going to be, <sighs> God, you know, the thing is to be the quartering, it must be a little bit fun because you get to play on the defensive constantly. It's like you're always practicing your debate game, you know? Well, defense or offense. I mean, if you're, you're always really... on the wrong side of the fence. It's like you're on the debate team and they're always like, you're like, you're like, please don't be Germany. Please don't be Germany. And they're like, all right. And, and, uh, defending Hitler, we have Dan and you're like, ah, f- son of a bitch, but it's always it's like a creative writing project every yeah, single time. Every day that, that is you true, wake up. right? Yeah. He you has, look at the news and it's like, okay, Trump said that all black people are N words. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> about all right. This? How do we this, do this? this? Is, yeah. Let's go I gotta wake up. I got some memes to go. All right. You know, but you get, you get, it gets better and better at it. You know, yeah. it, it almost, when things get too good, it's like, Hold on, this is like something I can defend here. Trump made a policy that helps underprivileged people. Okay, this is obviously pushed by the left and it's in, you know, in favor of, you know, he's going to get us our machine guns back or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, wait, we didn't even watch your video. Yeah, go back. Okay, which one? Close. Okay. This one was by a actual uh colored name, multicolored name. Fuck. Name of color. Fuck. I got it. I got you, bitch. I got you, you son of a bitch. You know who it was? Who was it? The Swan Gobbler. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got him. All right. Sorry. Woo. All right, man. Okay. Where were we? We were here. We were clicking and watching something. Let's go. Here we go. Click. Showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex. Wait. Pause. You don't think this Pause. retard is getting my stream banned, right? Which one? August. Why I'm not about to watch like a porn video, right? No. Okay. Let's go. August, you wouldn't do that, would you? Go. Okay. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a second. Why are you watching the... Stop. Uh, from 10 years why, ago. Wait, years pause. Ago. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi. I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex-boyfriend, Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend. What you guys saw on the video is just what we used to do. It was just pure game. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed... Pause. ...in a sexual act with one of his girlfriends. Pause. This means nothing right here. Oh yeah? To me. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? Number one, not Andrew Tate, and not, not Andrew Tate fan here, but asking an OnlyFans model how old she is and the response she gets, this is what you're basing your shit on? No. Well, I mean, they've never disputed her age. Like, it's just a thing to show. I mean, this, didn't this just come out? This means no, 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 no. This girl's been. I've talked about this girl like a, two years ago. Like this has been talked about for a long time. That okay. video that was released, we've watched. I've gotten. Yeah, I gripped it. Yeah, just like August has been. Yeah. Um, okay. But no, this stuff has been out for quite a while. Okay. I'm, just gonna, I'm 14. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. If I said it was a game and she said it was a game, who are other people to then comment on our lives? It was between two consenting adults and we decided to do something. You know what's funny is he says this shit and then I guarantee you there's shit that Andrew Tate has talked shit about two consenting adults all the time. What a fucking, what a loser. True. Yeah. You could beat him up. Yeah, could I? Yeah, for sure. Okay. He looks like he's kind of short actually. Yeah. I heard that his world boxing kickboxing thing that he was in wasn't yeah. even like the whole world. So really, you know, yeah, like that was only like a small. Yeah, section. it was like a small kickboxing champion. Oh he my! So obviously I'd box him. No kicking allowed. Yeah, so I've already done. got a That's huge it. advantage. It's huge, yeah. done. <laughs> Jesus, he'd be oh my god, so far behind. My okay. God. So, we both agreed it was fine. Why are you getting hit? That's just kink shaming. Why are you getting beat? Which that's all it is. We would never do that. Kink well, shaming. That's no. the that's the worst. Oh. Okay. Now. Okay, this one is bolded. Oh my uh, god, watch this! Scroll down this thread! Thank the you. The Young Turks uh, yesterday. 
Okay. Don't worry, August. We, we Wait, got am you. I getting a cut of the f***ing YouTube revenue here? Jesus, A thread on Christ. Candace Owens, scroll up. We have to read it. A thread on Candace Owens' connection to Andrew Tate and her many lies that she's told to protect him. Candace Owens met her now husband, George Farmer, in December of 2018. I thought it said George Floyd. <laughs> at the launch of Turning Point UK Racist. 17 days later, they got engaged over Skype. That's really weird. Getting married after 17 days, yeah. Yeah. George Farmer is the son of Lord Michael Farmer, former Conservative Party treasurer and member of the House of Lords. In early 2019, Candace was introduced to Farmer's friend, Andrew Tate, who Farmer has known for many, many years and before he was famous. The night Candace met Tate, her Romanian assistant spent a lot of the time talking to him. Candace's assistant told Candace that night that she believed Andrew Tate was a, primp, was a pimp cut to four years later. Uh-oh. Is this Macaulay Culkin? Culkin. Who knows? Go. Candace and I met in... December of 2018 and we got engaged very quickly after 17 days um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thursday just looked up what as I was having this dinner with my husband and his friend Andrew Tate was there I had no idea who he was this is kind of before he really took off on the internet I, I've known Andrew for many many years um, I've known Andrew since before Andrew was Andrew mm -hmm. you know what I mean um, I've known Andrew since before he was famous, I guess. Andrew is a, is a Deep, great guy. Deeply um, troubled really individual. Is. I had my assistant at the time with me who happened to be Romanian. She's a, born in Romania, speaks Romanian, happened to have been in the United States. She spent a lot of the time that we were there talking to him. She comes over to me afterwards and she says, this guy, uh, Andrew Tate, I think he's a pimp in Romania. I said, what? And she's like, no, I think he's like actually a pimp in Romania. Like all humans, he's flawed. If you're a guy and you hold citizenship in America or, and or in the United Kingdom and you decide to uproot to Romania, it's gotta be because you can do a little more dodgy stuff in Romania to the Eastern Quarter. This is how things work. <laughs> kind of hmm. Yeah, don't they use that same line about like British guys that go to Thailand? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Would it be even crazier? Wow, whoever cut this together, wouldn't it be even crazier if they had a small clip at the end there, 20 seconds of Andrew Tate and Tristan, I think, both saying, yeah, we think that the laws in the West are crazy, and that's probably like being in Romania because they're a lot more uh, lax here insofar as women accusing you of rape and having your life being destroyed over it, you know? S scroll down this thread. Thank you, thank you. Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan were arrested in Romania in December 2022, around four years after Candace Dick met Tate. In June 2023, Andrew and Tristan Tate were charged with human trafficking and forming an organized crime group. Andrew was also charged with rape. As you can see in the indictment below, the time period these charges cover are 2016 to 2022. Note, these remain the charges Andrew Tate is facing trial for in Romania. Was he actually charged with these crimes, or are these crimes that they're currently under investigation for? Uh, I, who the f*** knows? All right, continuing to click. Here we go. In July... Oh, it's not, so pretty. Yeah, except for the reflection. They can't see that, though. I can see it. Look. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but the your, camera's guest, stay your guest can see it, and the guest is unimpressed. They're impressed. Okay. In July 2023, Tucker Carlson, you know who that is? I've heard of him. You're familiar with him? Yeah, Russian asset now, right? Okay. Um, he interviewed Andrew Tate. Can you believe that? Wild. In that interview, Tate told many lies. What? Including that he wasn't charged with rape. I've made a video, watch it below, addressing some of these lies and exposing Tate's proven record as a pimp and techniques he used to groom women into sex work. Is that a good sentence? I made a video, watch it below, Addressing some of these lies and exposing Tate's proven record as a pimp and techniques. Hmm, I don't like this. That's not a good segue into it. Anyways, this video went incredibly viral. All right, Zerka. Do you know why it's a bad sentence? Why? Well, it, it, it's, it's, there's something about it that doesn't feel correct. I made a video. Watch it below. That's fine. Addressing some of these lies and exposing Tate's proven record as a pimp, period. It also showed the techniques he used to groom women into sex work. Yeah, the issue is that um, he's trying to do like a, I don't know how you would describe these sentences, but like, um, I made a video addressing some of these lies and exposing Tate's proven record as a pimp. 
but when he's got the second part here of this sentence is, I made a video doing two things. What does this video do? They address some of the lies and they expose Tate's proven record as a pimp and techniques he used to groom women into sex. It's mm. the second part is way too big. Yeah, yeah. that was the issue. Should have been a run on sentence. Not really run on. It's like grammatically, it's correct. Is it's it? just, it's, yeah, it's just not very. It's not a good sentence. It does, it's not a good sentence. We don't like yeah. it. There's some commas mm -hmm. and semicolons in there. You know, I don't use semicolons. You ever use them? Um, semicolons, they, yeah, they're, they can be helpful, yeah. A semicolon is like. It's like stop. I'm not. It's like stop more. A semicolon is like, you you don't really have, you don't really, it's not like a whole new sentence coming next, but it's too much for like a comma. So you're like, semicolon. I feel like there's, that's like a very small, that's like a, a very small subset of uh, things that, that semicolon. I would say semicolon, probably one of the most used, sorry, most unused things of all the thingies on my keyboard. When do I do semi? Like, you know I do, what? I do the double dots. Here, look. Yeah. I made a video addressing some of these lies and exposing Tate's proven record as a pimp. Semicolon. The video also addresses techniques he's used no. to groom women in a sex work. You no, could. That's yeah. just a period. You could. I don't know when you use the semicolon. It's a mysterious animal. I gotta you look. could do I'm, it. I'm going to look into this more later on, actually. I'm very. I'm, I'm you quite, could use a semicolon there if you wanted to. I, I don't know if we can, honestly. Uh, I know that it's for programming, okay? The two dots, big two dot user. Colons, I'm throwing colons all over the place. I love colons. I would say my favorite, my favorite parentheses, big parentheses user. I actually prefer, I prefer the, the M dash, actually. M dash? The M dash. What's that? It's a special character reserved for special people that know how to use alt codes, but it's the M dash. Look it up. It's not a normal dash. Look up the M dash. I don't, I don't even know what I would search for. Push control T and then type in E M D A S H on this. Yeah. Okay. Control. Uh, yeah. Oh, just a, what a dash. No. An M dash. Yes. Double dash, but it's, it's bigger. Yes. You don't use this ever. The M dash. You're just lying to look so cool. so special. If I was search this in our conversation, there won't be a single mention of this. You know what there I will be? I'm not trying to type cool to you. I'm not trying to impress you. Yeah, it, but it's not, but you don't. There is one thing. There's one thing only you use. Do you know what I'm about to do? The S? No. I, let me, let me, you're going to know immediately. There's one thing that only Steven does. Oh, the reverse smileys. They're really good. No. This fucking cringe smiley that you do. I don't know why you do this. I haven't done this one in years. You do this. I do the devil one now. This is not a good smiley. I don't use this. This is not good. Scroll through our conversation. I use the devil one. Now it's the, it's, um, I believe it's greater than, and then uh, you're, you're, colon. You're parentheses. talking about this? That's one I use a lot. Yes. That's my new go-to. <laughs> yeah, maybe with the women. Better not use that with me. That's creepy. Do you know why I, you know why I know you're wrong also? Why? I don't use the, um. I don't use the pointy nose guy because I don't know what chat program <laughs> I was using. <laughs> no, uh, I would use it even more if that was the case. Um, I think it's because there was some chat program we were using for a while, or it might even be Discord, but when you put that, uh, the carrot, that character, it f***s the next text up. So I had uh, to stop using it. Yeah. Damn it. Not good. All right. Okay. You know what I really miss? What? Remember Lenny face? Yeah. What a good guy. That was a good face. What can you do? Nothing. You got to move on with your life. All right. Here we go. In July 2023, Tucker Carlson, great guy, interviewed Andrew Tate. In that interview, Tate told many lies, including that he wasn't charged with rape. I made a video, watch below, blah, 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 blah. This video went incredibly viral, if I don't say so myself, my own video. Many, many conservative voices spoke out against Andrew Tate because of it, including Jordan Peterson, who responded to the video by saying, pimps, electronic or otherwise, are the lowest form of life. Pog. Several commentators, including Ben Shapiro and Michael Knowles, discussed the video and condemned Tate on their podcasts. Candace Owens was still working with The Real Daily Wire, The Time, along with Peterson, Shapiro, and Knowles. She, she responded differently to the video, dot, dot, dot. Let me ask you this. Ask. Jordan Peterson. Yep. Redeemable? Um, He's on the right side of a lot of things, I think. Don't you... Uh, don't get me wrong. Some not good things about him. What are you on the right side of now? Well, he's not a fucking Nazi. Like, he... he in, in Despite the fact that a lot of people want him to be a Nazi, he has no qualms in saying, you guys are all retarded. Like, that's retarded. He'll, he'll say it. I, I guess. Have, yeah. he, right? Okay, he's not a Nazi, true. He's not a Nazi. But, I mean, he works for Ben Shapiro who's a Jewish overlord. So is that really that surprising? Well, there's that. And then also 
Do you think that everything he's said is is without value? After or, 2017, yes. Really? <laughs> Categorically. Like, the whole, like the whole clean, the, things, the, clean, the clean your room stuff. Wasn't that before? That was in his book oh. that he published before then, no? Okay. All right. I don't know. I remember. What about the H3H3 thing? On the point. Smart. He's not a moron. He's, a, he's an actual well, smart guy. That's the thing that you can say he's about just, any... Also, yeah. you remember when someone called... who He was doing an interview. Fuck. He was doing an interview with some Brit, Brit bonger. And the Brit bonger gave him a gotcha. And he got got. And he was like, you know what? You're right. That is true. He admitted it on the spot. I couldn't believe it. I had so much... I don't want to say respect. But like to not do pedantic debate bro games. But just be like, you know what? You fucking got me. Okay. Do you remember I what this was? I don't remember it, but I'll, Fuck, he's, so, dude. he's uh, so stupid, it was, so I don't care. Uh, Jordan Peterson getting interviewed about something. Oh, it was. I think it was about something about... Women in the workplace? Yeah, I think it was about women in the workplace. I feel like I... Here's a quote that I feel like I have of him in his mind, where he says something like, you know what? You're right. That's a good point. Something like... Wait, did it have to do with him being asked to name a single woman author? Um, and he couldn't name one, and he said, you know what? You're right. Maybe it was that? I don't remember. <gasps> Dude. Don't remember. Don't care. Go to the next thing. All right. Several commentary. Okay. What is this video? Go. Okay. We're going to press play. Um, okay. It was, maybe it was, it was a about Jim women Jim. wearing lipstick. I'm okay. sorry. Maybe I have it was to a watch it. Well, okay. Okay. All right. Peterson, women wearing lipstick. Like for Jim Jeffries. Interview. Um, Jim Jeffries? Apparently that's who it was with. This? Okay. Making people bake a cake for this a is gay it. wedding. Making them do it? Yeah. Oh, cool, and it's I don't fucking think that's quiet. A very good idea. But here's the argument: so should they be able to deny making a cake for a black couple if they don't like black people? Allowed to? Probably. That doesn't mean it's right. Okay, so then we had the civil rights movement, yeah. where they said black people, you had to serve them in your restaurants and yeah. stuff like that, and it did work, and it did make our society better. But would yeah. you argue that that still wasn't right? No, that was right. Why, why is that different to now if you didn't want to make a cake for black, black people? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not different. Yeah. Maybe I was wrong about that. Making people... I, listen, I understand. Jordan Peterson, Ben's out, out, the whole thing. You have to somewhat have a little bit of respect. No, for some, I don't. Really? You would prefer that he like debate broed out and gave some bullshit conservatard answer about how it was different there versus being like, you know what? You're right. I've changed my thinking on this. Did he? I think so when you say it. No? All right. No, well, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. The hate flows through you too deep to see. That's that fine. That was also six years ago, so. Okay. All right. Jesus. Okay. Um, all right. Back to this. Okay. Can you watch the video? Yeah, go for yeah. it. You're not actually accused of Correct. Wow. Rape Five and a half minutes. Selling anyone. Let's go. Pimping. Correct. They face charges which include human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. OnlyFans is the best hustle in the world. Are they accusing you of using violence or? No. They're accusing me of using the Loverboy method, coercing them by being nice. I don't mention webcam until after I've had sex with the girl. If you're on dates and you're trying to mention it and shit, it just doesn't work. It puts them off. I'd never do that. That's disgusting. I'm not a whore. Uh, it's just not going to work. You continue as normal. No mention of webcam. You fuck the girl. Pause. After you fuck the girl, you do the Pause. I feel like it's, I got what I asked for, and it just wasn't how satisfying I thought it would be. Um, for a long time, I was like, I want there to be an example that's so clearly obvious that, like, you guys are hypocrites. Like, I want a guy literally on video saying, you know, just the most insane shit, and I want to see how you guys, I bet you guys would defend. And you know what they do? They do. This is it. But it's not, I, I don't feel satisfied. <laughs> yeah, I just, it's like, I don't know what I want anymore. Any of the Obama children, any Hunter Biden, any Democratic lawmaker, like a person in Congress, anybody even with a last name that sounded like Clinton. Yeah. Like anybody with the first name Clifton, anybody, like anybody that had anything even, remo even remotely similar to this. Like, let me give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to rape women and traffic them sexually. Like... The fuck? And then keep in mind, when I tried to join Candace Owens' space with Andrew Tate in the space and Dan Blitzerian, um, like three or four days ago, she said, I'm not bringing in Destiny. He's a sexual deviant. And she, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. But it's just... Hmm. They're, they're the real debate perverts, right? It's just they're so... Yes, ev they, everybody does yeah. it. It triggers the fuck out. Because people accuse me of doing shit like this. Yeah, and they do it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, okay. What are you going to do? Besides this, so make yeah, money off them. I have my PhD program, and that is a PhD is a pimp and hose degree. Get them. Um, <laughs> Clever. And that, Clever. That, that, 
So that teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. Oh, you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Work for you doing what? So I have a webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen. Come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear from a girl. And this is why your bottom bitch has to be trained. So I said, it's so important to have a good first girl. Because that's what I did. That was my, my MO was find girls, make them love me, and make them work for me. This girl's like, okay, well, I'll try it. But both girls on camera together the first day. So the new girl can sit there and just sit with the other girl and get drunk. Give a bottle of vodka. Last night that I worked for him, Andrew bought me like five bottles of wine. So I got completely drunk because I've never done webcam work. So I was very, very nervous. And that's how I got. You say five bottles of wine? Girls drink bottles of wine like crazy. Are you, dude, you drink one bottle of wine and you're going to be fucking done. You can throw back bottles of, over, over the course of a night, you could throw back a lot of wine. It's pretty wild. If you threw back one bottle of wine, I guarantee you'd be fucking wasted. I would be fucked up. I get fucked up really easily though. But over the course of like an entire night, like six, seven, eight hours. You could maybe do a bottle of wine, but you would be tipsy the whole time. Sure. They're saying they did five bottles of wine. You know how yeah, much Yeah, but I it wasn't just for her. It was probably for three or four or five different oh, people. Yeah. yeah. But no, they were probably getting fucked up for sure. They were getting fucked up for sure. <laughs> okay. Are rich. So that teaches everything I know from start to finish about uh, not only getting girls, not only obtaining them, but retaining them. Please stop. Pause. 180 days. Hark dank. Destiny, you have no idea. You virgin fuck. A bottle of wine is between two people is probably like fucking anywhere from three to four glasses, depending upon how big you pour the glasses. The fuck out of here. You have no idea. You have no idea. Do you understand that wine is literally your mom's favorite drink? Do you know how much wine we've had together between the two of us? She needs it to loosen herself up. Red or white? For when I take her. She's red when I'm done. No, the wine. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Really? Whatever you, she wants. I don't like white wine as much. It's too... I drink white wine and I feel like, you know, I'm 45 and I'm going to go to therapy for my divorce later. Red wine, it's like I'm a sophisticated dude doing sophisticated shit, making big moves. It all tastes fucking disgusting to me, so. Nah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, and over time, I just built up this big, this big little em empire of webcam girls. At one, one point, I had four locations, 75 girls working for me. I'd take around half of the money. Around 50%. Take 50%. Around 50%. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity was because of taxes. He would just pay me a flat fee of 15 pounds an hour. We got to the point where we had these guys falling in love with my models, serious, big time in love, right? Sending crazy money. And they were convinced they were gonna meet the chick. This is almost where I kind of felt bad. Because they're like, can we meet? I'll send you $200,000. But when you look at the money that I was actually bringing in, it just doesn't even scratch the surface. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. I was all about trying to get paid. Like my whole, I used sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house and make me money. That, that's what I wanted. So I was a pimp in that sense. Were there any other instances where there was physical abuse? I saw him. I, I'm sorry to, to pause <laughs> one more time. It is just surreal to hear someone say this willingly. I know. And it's funny too, because like, unlike a lot of the, the, I've said this a lot, a lot of the new red pill movement stuff that started to get popular, like in the Sneeko era, like... If you have any experience with women, you listen to them talk, you know that it's all bullshit. None of it makes sense. It doesn't work. Yeah. But what the Tates talk about, especially Tristan, even in their like dating stuff, the stuff that they say, this is really effective shit. The way that Andrew talks about like using a woman to like lure another woman in to get her comfortable with shit, everything else, like they like he does his it was his business. It was his webcam business. He talked about it from start to finish, and you've got girls that attest to it. Like all of it is like mm. out there openly. It's like the J6 so, stuff. But, like it's all out there openly, and you know it works, and he's telling me about how to do it, how he did it, and like, yeah, it's like so Jesus. You're, so you're saying like Andrew Tate, he actually did do this. Yes. These are these are real strategies it's Andrew not like and Tristan 100% it's not like Rolo telling about how to pick up women no it, fucking retards they say like Rolo would say some shit like here like here's the difference it's like you got to leave your colostomy bag at home here's the difference I ah, fuck dude I watched some of these Tristan videos on stream they're so good Rolo or and and uh and even fresh of it they'll say shit like oh yeah like if you cheat on a girl it makes her super competitive and then when she starts getting jealous blah 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 the Tates will say shit like yeah if you bring a girl back to your apartment and she seems like she's a little bit jealous just don't even waste your time stop talking to this girl they don't have like a 52 step plan to like take make any girl they're just like don't waste your time this person's not worth it or whatever or the things that they would say like uh like fresh and fit will be like you need to fuck a girl immediately to know who she is blah blah, blah. Tristan says shit like after a first date because I'm always juggling multiple women. Every time I'm on a first date with a girl, I will always drive her home and I drop her back off and I don't even ask to come inside because it creates like this idea where the girl's like, oh shit, he didn't even try to fuck me. That's super true. And that is a huge impression. Like you can tell the way that both of them talk and the way they move. Mm. The, Tristan gave this, I've never believed in any of this pickup artist bullshit before, but the way that Tristan gave this walkthrough of how he would do like a big party with like multiple chicks at the same time and how he would pay some people to show up and he would always be talking to different people that he knew to give this impression that he was like so much more popular than actual. It was like really smart. 
part mm. like the way that he navigated it all but then yeah but you listen to like any like pearl she's like yeah you just want to tell a woman don't ever give her a compliment because she'll be feminist and get way too big of an ego you have to constantly shit on them always and then cheat on them to make them competitive and make sure they know that they're you know two or three people when you listen to tate when andrew talks about his other girls he's always telling them like you're more special than all these other girls i don't care about this like, you're my number one right because you that's how you have to play yeah. yeah but anyway yeah i'm just these guys are crazy good at it, what they do tristan and andrew yeah it's just i know where we've said before it's just so crazy they say this out loud oh, yeah and there's just no they're like the fact that people on the right are like oh yeah andrew tate he's being persecuted it's like you're hearing <laughs> what, what more do saying. you need publicly what do you what do you want to hear he's saying he's fucking 15 year olds you do you support that I, I, I want you to be in a debate with a Tristan or Andrew Tate supporter and be like, here's a video of him saying he fucked a 15 year old. How do you feel about that? That's just entertainment. Like, oh, so do they really didn't... mean that? Yeah. Well, here's a video. Well, they were just playing in that hitting video. That wasn't ri- like, so there's no evidence I could ever show you, right? Yeah, there, there's just, there's not, so there's nothing I can do to convince nothing. you. Nothing. Never. But it could be a video of them raping the girl mm. and her saying, I feel like I'm getting raped. And like, well, we need. But 10 did you more hear seconds. about Hunter Biden's laptop or that? Yeah. Smack girls with a. Oh, my God. Yeah. Pause. I'm sorry. Pause. One minute. Tristan had so many good ideas. Tristan said that when he would I DM girls. I them good ideas. Because they're These, so smart. Tristan said when he would ideas. DM girls or shit on Instagram, he would always just have like a random fruit emoji. He would always put one at like the starter end of a message. And they'd be like, why? Because like, it makes your message stand out more. It's true, and it did. It's smart. You know, that stupid, dumb shit like that is smart. Oh, and another thing he said, it was so smart. He always leaves voice notes because it makes it it's so much more personable and so much more special no. when you're leaving a voice note for somebody. If anyone leaves a um, voice note for me. That's great. Not for business shit, but for flirty shit. For so smart. Shit. Um, yeah, God, Don't fuck, do it. he had so much good advice for trying to like pick up women. For trying to be um, a molester? Do it. Yeah, well, I mean, if that's what you want to do, yeah, it would work. If you want to be a rapist, <laughs> I don't know. Tristan is like, So God, you're saying his course is actually the good, three part, it's a The three good video value. thing, whatever he did, That's yes. like the best rapist Absolutely. of all the Rapist courses out there would you recommend the tate's hustler university the tristan one 100 percent. probably the, the early stuff tristan was good for picking up women andrew tate's probably good for trafficking women i would say recommend yeah okay there's nothing better if you want to be a rapist like this i is, haven't seen anything better that's it than those two but that's, i haven't explored that a lot okay that's good to know all right click what am i doing? oh yeah all these pixels that's right what you you knew i was gonna beat the at you if you behaved i wouldn't have to hit you would i you don't. Get out. You can't say that forever. Once again, this is an IQ test, right? Because any guy who's bad with women would look at it and go, Take some woman beer. I say it. Look at the camera. This is what you don't listen. Look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? Why I like how every it? video. Listen. Jesus. Do as I say. Any man who's actually a G, who's been around a little bit, would look at the video and go, Man, she loves you. She wants that. <laughs> the media machine would call up ex girlfriends and say, You can pay Andrew. You can pay $50,000 for the story. And they tried very hard. They didn't find any evidence of anything. And I had gone to the shower. I came back and I noticed he was. Like I saw him raping her, and um... People say, why didn't Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is to meet you, Ira. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a fucking rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say, to, to do what I want. I like being free. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed. I'm not a rapist. I just want to fuck who I want. If you don't like it, fuck you. Especially if they don't like it. Yeah, fuck if them. you don't like it, I don't give a shit. If that they don't like it, like I will keep fucking them. Yeah, that's what... Does that make me a rapist? Yeah. Jesus Christ, the leftist media. You stay in the house. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly there he is. Say, impressed by what he... You know what else? Well-dressed. The best dressed. You ain't got shit to say about that, do you? Well, I had this company that. was going to make me suits. And then what? And then I made fun of Muslims. Oh, no more? Nope. This was a year ago. How they much came the, and did measurements and everything. How much did the suit cost to do these? They, they, it's a sponsor thing. Well, well it would have been. I'm guessing for him, for Peterson, it absolutely Yeah, is. but for a normal person. I don't think they do. I think it was like a marketing thing. I don't remember if they sell conventional products. I'd have to go and check. Interesting. So what is it? Just like a two-piece, two-color suit? Or would yours be? Uh, they do like a full, yeah, it's a full suit. Hmm. Interesting. Sex business front. It, it seems to me a bit on the pimpy side, let's say. I get called a pimp a lot. But I, and the reason I use the term is because I don't see it as a negative term. I see it as positively inspirational and motivating person. She has to respect you and love you and want to work with you. And that's done through positive... Pimp, positively inspirational, motivating person. I'm gonna send you a book. It's a guy called Pimp in the <laughs> Street Pimp in the Nineties, and he wrote a book, uh, Fifty Laws of the Game. And one of the laws of the game is a hoe without instruction is headed for destruction. They're accusing me of using the lover boy method, coercing them by being nice. Let me read you then what you have said about what you have done. Sure. 
you have said, my job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say, and then get her on webcam so we, we could become rich together. I don't think that's what I personally said. I think that's, that's exactly what no, you said that's, on your that's, website. That's, that's, no, I've never said that. So yeah, on corporate.com, I have my PhD program. The, I think the belief is that you were charged with human trafficking. Yeah, that's human trafficking, because what you do is you force a girl to work against her will for financial gain. That's human trafficking. And their justification for this is that girls do TikTok. Some girls I know who they found who say they're not victims have TikTok accounts. Uh, PhD is a pimp and hose degree. But, um, um, Clever. And that <laughs> Jesus. This guy, he said he loves it. He loves it. I don't know who this is, but he loved it. It's next Andrew Tate. I wonder who this is. Very interesting. You know what he kind of looks like? You I, know what he kind of looks like? I do know who he kind of looks like. like wait, he, wait. Wait, what? What? Did you say like me? Yeah, he's got a, a little bit, right? No, I was going to say he looks like Ty Lopez. Here oh, in my garage. That guy. Like you. What, Dan, are you okay? I mean, I saw it for a second. Never mind. Anyways, we should find out. I'm very curious who this guy is because he loves it. He loves this, this stuff. It's interesting. All right. Anyways. Wait. What? Keep scrolling down. Was there anything else? Oh. Oh, there is. Candace, in a matter of days, flew to Romania to interview Andrew Tate, accompanied by her husband and Tate's longtime friend, George Farmer. You and this Candace. interview appeared to be a coordinated effort between Tate and Owens. And possibly Farmer to lie about Tate's past in the Romanian cr criminal case. The first lie. Candace did along with the Tate repeat over and over that Tate stopped having anything to do with pornography 10 years ago, and that would make it 2013. This is provably false. There is plenty of proof that Tate was still producing porn up until his arrest, including financial records showing three milli from webcamming and his brother Tristan's account. Funds were still coming in as late as August 2022. Tate continually boasted on podcasts and Twitter about how much money he was making through pornography during the COVID lockdowns. As already covered, Candace was alerted four years before this interview in 2019 that Andrew Tate was a pimp. So the premise that Candace believed Tate had stopped pornography in 2013 is simply absurd, but it gets worse. Ellipsy. Interviewed Andrew Tate. Long time. Yeah, sorry. You and Candace went to Romania with Andrew Tate. Candace interviewed Andrew Tate. Long time. I know. It's been a very long time. Very long time. Actually, I met you downstairs at the Ritz. Correct. As I was having this dinner with my husband and his friend, Andrew Tate was there. I had no idea who he was. This is kind of before he really took off on the internet. I had my assistant at the time with me who happened to be Romanian. And she comes over to me afterwards and she says, this guy, uh, Andrew Tate, I think he's a pimp in Romania. How long ago was your webcam business? Yeah, so I stopped, I stopped having any involvement with it, I think eight to nine years ago, I stopped. Andrew Tate is not hiding exactly who Andrew Tate was. I've had nothing to do with it for 10 or 11 years. It was a long time ago. It was at the early stages of the internet. Digging back 10 years. Um, I don't know who could survive that litmus test. Again, if you found Candace 10 years ago and you asked me about pornography, it's okay, this is 10 years ago. You and Candace went to Romania wow. with Andrew Tate. Wow. wow. More scroll. Hey, there's more. There's more. August says I got to keep scrolling. He's going to make one hell of a YouTube video out of this, I bet. You know, I really just don't give a shit about this. Can I be honest? Do you care? I mean, you hate Candace Owens, I guess. I do. Uh, you know what? I want to do some call-ins. All right, so you know what? Listen, August, this is on you, okay? First of all, way too much shit, okay? Oh. You need to have it more concise, okay? You need to have it set down to narrow things. What are you going to give me a f book report to do here? I ain't getting paid to do that on the other end. You know what he wants? He wants me to do his job for him. Typical. All right. I know what I want to do. And I want to do Discord stuff. Aww. Aww. Okay, we can't hear you. Hold on. Oh, now um, we can. Yeah. What's up? So I have a couple a random one. I can hear myself as well. Yeah, you gotta you gotta turn down the radio when you call in. Okay. That's an old one from old call-in shows. You got the stream open in the background. That's yeah. The you gotta you, you gotta, gotta close, close there, that yeah. stream yeah. down. It's okay. You got the real thing now. Real thing now. Uh, yes. Okay. So my question is pretty random. His is more um, for destiny. Educated. Okay. <laughs> I love what they say um, that. It's more for destiny. It is. Go right. ahead. What do you got? Um. If you could guess where I'm from, any of you guys? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought this was for Destiny. I don't want to. I'm going to say no, she's Colombian. Is, absolutely. My question is for both of you guys. Go ahead. What do you think of where you're from, where you were mm -hmm. born, or like where your family's from? Her no, ethnicity. That's what she's asking for. Is it what you're asking? Your yes. ethnicity? It's her bloodline. Be, yes. Her bloodline. Yes. 
Oof. What'd you say? Colombia? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No. Um, They're all Mexican to me, okay? Go. I'm thinking. I know, okay. It's a very modest, very modest mouse country. Okay. Okay. I can, I can, I'm feeling it right now a little bit. Let me, let me take it in. Give me a second and stop fucking rushing me, okay? Oh, Dan's waiting for chat to give him I'm the not, answer. Sorry, I okay. Will I pull it you. away. Okay. okay. I, I don't think it's Latin at all. It's none Palestinian. Of the, no, none of the Latin countries. Definitely not. Central and South America, they're out completely. The question is... Wait! We each get to ask one question before we guess. Fine. You first. No, you first. You first. No, you first. No, because my question will be so good, I'll get the answer to exactly where she is from. Okay, hold on. Well, hold on, now I... Fuck, I can't think of a question. Wait. Um, can I ask, what year did your parents come to the United States? 1999. I may be going back on the whole Latin American thing. <laughs> no, go, Dan. Now it's your question. Well, I don't know how specific with the question can I get. Well, you can't... I it, if you're if you ask an obviously stupid question, then it's forfeit. You can't be like, well, what, what country is your sibling from? No, but what could you could you, for instance, you're going to ask what language they speak? No, no, I could be like, does your culture indulge in very spicy foods? Sure, that's a fair question. Is that what you'd like to ask? Yeah. <laughs> what an idiotic question. No, they don't, don't indulge in very spicy foods. They do not. We're going Nordic, Nordic, boring, <laughs> white. Are you fucking serious? That's all of Central and South America, all of India, all that whole area is all that. Okay, out. are you ready to guess? On three, we both say our guess. Ready? Wait. Okay, fine. I'm ready to guess. Are we allowed to guess? Are we allowed? Three. To okay, ready. Three, two, one, go. Nor Slovenian. Nor Norway. <laughs> Slovenian. It was really close for Destiny, but no, I'm from Kosovo. Fuck. Damn it. Close enough, though. Well, hold on. Wait. The southern tip of southern Finland, tip of Norway. Norway? You're to, not. You're, to, yeah. uh, where do you say Kosovo? I'm gonna guess yeah. two thousand five hundred miles. Hold on. I don't know. Let me just let me, southern tip of Norway. Norway to Kosovo. How long of a how long of a trip are we looking at? It's gonna here? be like one thousand miles. Europe is so small. Norway to Kosovo. It's a. Uh, well, it's a little bit of a. What, what was the other? What did you say? I said twenty five hundred. That's probably way too much. Probably like fifteen hundred. No, but what, what what was the country you said? Kosovo. Oh, Slovenia. I said Slovenia. Oh, you're. Yeah, I'm you're way close. closer. Yeah, you're yes, way closer. Obviously. Sorry. Okay. Well. I okay. So okay. Good job. Cool. Wait, yeah. What? So. Oh. I told him. This is a question for Destiny. Where does it go? I'm sorry. I can't hear. <laughs> Let me know when Dan's done laughing no, at sorry. a stupid joke. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Okay, so we just visited Nevada because I have a couple of friends down there, obviously. And they live in a very important county for that swing state. How do you get people or how do you convince people to that their vote actually is meaningful? Because they don't typically vote generally because they don't feel like their vote actually has any impact. What's the best way to convince a lay person? You know, I mean, it's like you have to have like a whole it's like a whole fucking um, it's like a whole philosophy debate. I mean, like the system doesn't work. If your friends are 80 IQ, there's nothing you can say to convince them. But like everybody has to buy into the system. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Right. Wait, we just convinced that other guy that Kamala was better because he hated immigrants. We're like, listen, we're yeah, gonna... but that was on substance. This is on the idea of like, well, how do you vote? If... But that guy's probably convinced now. He's probably like, oh, yeah, I want America to have Kamala because that'll mean more Muslims coming to America. He's convinced we did it. And that guy was 80 IQ. So we just have to find a way. I don't think they would engage on a philosophical conversation. What are they like? Tell me what they, what are they into? Describe these people. Uh, well, they're Hispanic. They typically work three jobs. They don't, they're not too invested in politics, but they are willing to vote if they. Wait, who are they voting for right now? Anybody? Uh, I got one to vote for Kamala. The other two are undecided. Wait, wait, are they here legally or are they undocumented? They're legal. They're born here. They're, what did he say? They're legal. He said they're born here. Okay. Here's the problem. <sighs> what? Is that stupid people are really fucking stupid. I have this. I have yeah, but you don't, hold on. Stupid people vote for the Dems, too. No, no. But here's the problem. Is that once their mind is set, 
you can never convince them otherwise. You could totally convince you them can't. otherwise. You absolutely can. I used to play Rust with a guy, and he converted to Islam, okay? And I was like, and he's a huge Trump guy. And I was like, you understand that Trump hates Muslims. And he's like, no, he doesn't. I was like, here's a video of Trump saying he wants to deport all Muslims and stop them from coming in. He's like, I don't care. Joe Biden is, is old and sleepy. And I was like, all right, whatever. There, there's like, you there's used to play to rest of that one guy who got radicalized and shot up that restaurant in like Buffalo? I, didn't, I know. So true story. There's a true story. I'm glad you brought this up. Play so there is no clip. This is the first time it's ever been heard. You knew about that. No one else did. You've talked about this on stream before. Did I? On the show before, actually, I think. No, maybe. Do you guys know the Buffalo shooter? No. Yes, I do know the Buffalo shooter. Okay. Well, no. anyways, he shot up a, a restaurant in Buffalo. Anyways, I never played with the guy, but a rival clan on Rusty Moose Monthly, where I usually play uh, Rust, had a clan leader by a guy named of, of Frigid Vanta, black guy, really funny. And Frigid Vanta, one of his clan members was the Buffalo shooter. And I asked him, I said, this is your fault. And he said, I don't care. Because <laughs> he was a, a fucking asshole to everyone that played in his Rust group. And, and yeah, there we go. So that's that's a true story. It was Jim Boy. That was his Rust name in game. This is a true story. Not in my group. I would never play with racists, personally. But uh, this guy, he had a black clan leader and he didn't like it. Anyways. You know what? What? Do they have kids? What are we talking about? Do, you, do the two do no. the people... They don't? Do they? No. Okay, you said they work like three jobs. Kamala is a big supporter of the earned income tax credit. Do these people file their taxes? Yeah. Then they know what the EITC is. E E I T C. They know what that is. Tell them. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would say that's debatable. But they, I would say do they that, file their own taxes? Yeah, they do. No, this, uh, but I don't think I don't think they know the implications. Yeah, but it's a big tax credit. Like this is the thing that poor people make money on. This is their big fucking yeah, credit. Yeah, it's yeah. a big deal. Of yeah. Course, Look, at, just lie to them, yeah. and they won't know. Be like, if you choose Kamala, you'll probably make an extra four thousand dollars a year, and they'll they won't know any better, and that'll be enough for them. Just lie, okay? It's for their own good. Just flat out lie, and they they'll probably go with it. Or you can be more extreme if you want. Like how? Are they men or women? They're men. Do they have wives? No. Girlfriends? No. Mothers? We're really yes. getting desperate here. <laughs> Do they look at porn? <laughs> you need to knock up all their moms and tell them that the only way that they can ensure the protection of abortion rights in the United States is with another Democratic president. There you go. <laughs> and if it's if their moms are pregnant and they're going to have new siblings that are going to be your children, which makes them your stepchildren, kind of, in a way. And if they want to avoid <laughs> that, they have to support... <laughs> A Democrat in office. There you go. Boom. Hang See, up. Get him out of here. We do, unlike a lot of other political shows that try to do just quasi bullshit and discussion, we have real solutions to real problems for common day Americans, like raping the mothers of our Mexican friends. Who the fuck said so anything about rape? Get an abortion you don't have then... to rape them. You can have consensual sex with them. Okay. Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, sorry. Is there anything else? <laughs> Actually, you can't because Republicans sometimes are okay with the rape exception. So Sorry. this has to be consensually done. You have to consent, but you can lie about like the pr impregnating part. S consensually stealth them. I like how chat's like, what game. the fuck, Dan? Dan, I can't believe you said that as we talk about fucking fucking this guy's friends so that they have to get an abortion. You guys, you know what? Chat is a vibe fucking terrorist. Do you think so? Yeah, they are. They are vibe terrorists, okay? They're a bunch of fucking... They're a bunch of losers. They're you not know, like you guys. You're you know cool. what these guys kind of remind me of when they sit like this? The farmer people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, I know what it is. But this guy's from Mexico, though. <laughs> That's a good one, but still. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I love you both. You're beautiful people. Good job. See you later. Oh, also, fun. don't lose any friends over politics. Don't debate it too much because they're going to hate you and they won't have you come around anymore. So be nice. The best thing you can do is be a good example, okay? Yeah, just don't talk about it at all. Yeah. All right. Bye. Hey, speaking of which, did you know that there's like almost another hour of this podcast that you're not going to see on this YouTube video? If you want to get the full thing, you have to be a Patreon subscriber, which you can do at patreon.com slash anything else. You also have very cool things you get in there, like being able to be on the live show viewer call-ins, suggesting the topics, and uh, like behind the scenes footage. There's some really good stuff there. So yeah, check it out. Right, some more patreon exclusive footage and here is my neighbor's cat ready to get into a fight to the death oh, no. with lichen's dog he's a big pussy though 
He's just smelling. Chicho. 